Hey, it's Chris. Special shout out to Notification Squad, everybody who watches this in 360p before everybody else even shows up. I always appreciate that extra early support. You guys are awesome. Today, I saw an article that really grabbed my attention. It had to do with the Apple Watch gaining extra tilt and flick controls in a future version of Watch OS. As an Apple Watch lover, that is super interesting to me. So we're gonna explore that. And don't forget to subscribe if you like this kind of a video and you wanna see more. Apple's been exploring the possibility of producing more hands-free ways to interact with wearable devices and other hardware. Okay, if you're an Apple Watch user, hopefully you're already familiar with the pretty recent feature edition, which is called Raise to Speak, which lets you interact with Siri just by raising your wrist. That's something that you couldn't do before. Before, you had to initiate talking to Siri by holding down the digital crown button or by saying the magic words, hey, you know what, I'm not gonna say it so I don't set up all your devices. Needless to say, Raise to Speak is much smarter, much better. So Raise to Speak is a gesture that lets you signal your intention to use Siri. But even more than that, it lets you interact with your Apple Watch one-handed. Keep that in mind as we're talking about what new gestures could be on the way here. Apple recently filed a patent that describes how an Apple Watch could be controlled in a more elaborate manner than currently offered, just by tilting the wrist. So in this patent, Apple's saying that it's come up with a new way for you to interact with stuff that appears on the screen one-handed. So basically just by tilting, like this. And then that will let you take simple actions. So using this method or this interface, your Apple Watch could present you with some pretty interesting options, like the ability to tilt to accept a call, or tilt to reject a call, or tilt to mute a call, or tilt to end a call. Now, if that's not interesting enough, which it is, then the patent goes on to explain that you might not even have to see what's on the screen to be able to interact with stuff. When a call's received, the Apple Watch could play a special ringtone consisting of high and low notes in a specific short sequence, potentially for a specific user. To answer the call, the user could perform a series of rotating flick movements that matches the ringtone's notes, rolling away from the face for a high note or rolling towards for a low note. So think about this too. You could potentially just lift or rotate or flick to send somebody a pre-made or canned message. Like select the message that you wanna send and while it's highlighted, just leave it there for a couple seconds until it sends, no touching required. I want this feature so bad. I love the Apple Watch as it is, but this kind of thinking just goes to show you that this device could become even more advanced as time goes on and even easier to use. I mean, the one feature that we have that's like this already, that raise to speak function that I was talking about at the beginning of the video, that was a game changer for me. I love that, I like it a lot. In fact, here's a clip of me talking about it from my recent Apple Watch review. I was excited to try the new raise to speak feature, which actually was a little tricky to get at first until I figured out that it only works after you've literally raised your wrist and then talk. It doesn't work if you've just been using the watch and then try to talk to it. Allow me to demonstrate. Create a reminder for tomorrow at 3 p.m. Hey, Chris, don't forget to drink some water. Here's your reminder worked. I think a lot of people that have been having trouble with that just failed to understand. You have to raise to use raise to speak. Now raise to speak right now, it's not 100% perfect. There's still room for improvement. So I'm sure that this kind of tilt and flick and rotation feature, if Apple's really trying to bring this to market, it's going to take them a little while, some tweaking to get it to the point where they're ready to release it in a future update. Now, of course, if you're a religious follower of Apple News or just tech news in general, you know that these kind of patents get filed weekly or very often, and they don't always lead to a new product coming to market. Sometimes they're just filed and that's where it ends. And so that's kind of one of the reasons why I don't often cover patents, but when I saw this one, I couldn't help but get really excited. So I wanted to tell you guys about it so that we can have a discussion about it and all dream about it down in the comments. But even if this product doesn't live to see the light of day, I'm still excited about this patent because it proves that Apple isn't just resting on its laurels when it comes to this particular product. They're pushing the boundaries, they're thinking about what's possible, and they're attacking making this a better product. But actually, that's not even what has me the most excited about this particular news. This is the kind of feature that only requires a software update. So if you already have an Apple Watch, you could get this kind of a feature. You don't have to buy a brand new Apple Watch because the current one already has the accelerometers and the tilt sensors and whatever's needed. Apparently, and I didn't even realize this until the article pointed these things out, and I'm gonna link it up down below so you can check it out yourself, but Apple's considering these kinds of gesture controls for several different products. 
Gestures to control your HomePod, gestures to control your self-driving vehicle. Apple's got some cool ideas brewing. Everyone who's sleeping on Apple right now and thinks that Apple is super boring and isn't up to anything cool is gonna be in for a very rude awakening in the next couple of years, I think. Thanks for watching today. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already for more videos like this in addition to our regular series like Unbelievably Useful Tips and whatever else. Don't forget you can follow me. I'm at Daily Tech, spelled Daily T-E-K-K on Instagram and Twitter, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.